Hello everyone, this this video is going to go through how to calculate the pressure loss due to friction in a pipe such as a sprinkler pipe on horizontal ground. So let's say we have a uh, some type of piping 3 inch in diameter, 100 feet, feet long and flowing 200 gallons per minute of water. Uh, water at 60 degrees Fahrenheit is an assumption that we'll be making here. Uh, we're going to say this is uncoated cast iron smooth and new piping so we can get a C factor from table 4-2.2 4, 4 .2 from page 455 of the SFP handbook 4th edition and this C, fact, C variable is a friction factor constant so what we're going to do here is use the Hazen-Williams equation rather than trying to calculate it through the uh, using a standard friction factor you might learn in a fluid mechanics class, fluid dynamics class. So we're going to use this equation, equation, equation 22b from page 4-54 of section 4 chapter 2 of the SCP handbook 4th edition and in, in the book itself this is only labeled as P but it's important to note that its units are in PSI per foot. So I like to draw, write it as P over L so that I don't forget to multiply this term by a length to get the actual total pressure loss. So Q is the flow rate in terms of gallons per minute. And D is the diameter of the pipe in terms of inches. And C is our friction factor coefficient. So we can plug our values in here is equal to 4.52 times our flow rate times 1.8 raised to the 1.85 power 121 raised to the 1.85 power times 3 we have a 3 inch pipe So that's going to give us a P over L equal to 0 0.0544 PSI per foot. And then we can multiply that by 100 feet to get our value of 5.4 PSI. So this is the amount of pressure that we're going to lose given this scenario. So you can tell this equation is very dependent upon the diameter of the of the pipe itself. So if you flow the same amount of water through a a much smaller pipe, you're going to have a significant a significantly more pressure loss. I hope you found this video useful and you have a good day.